I picked up a huge 70s, 80s and 90s CD rock collection. Let me show you. So exciting to find this collection. Big surprise as I show you T-Rex, Get It On, the collection, released in 2011. This is a compilation of T-Rex's songs, Mark Bolan. Mark Bolan, Acoustic Warrior, released in 1999. This is a CD containing previously unreleased acoustic recordings. Supertramp, Breakfast in America, originally released in 1979. I already have this album on CD, but the CD looks a little bit different with that font writing at the top, so I thought I'll pick it up. Aerosmith, Gratis Hits, originally released in 1980. I've seen this a few times and I've ignored it, simply because it only has 10 tracks, but I did a quick Wikipedia search and realised that most of these tracks are from the 70s. So I thought I'll pick it up. The Very Best of Deep Purple, released in 1998. Deep Purple, Abandon, never seen this one before. Their 16th studio album, released in 1998. It was Deep Purple's second album with Steve Morse on guitar and the last album to feature founding member John Lord prior to his departure in 2002. And the album was followed up with a successful world tour. Looking forward to listening to this one. ACDC, for those about to rock, I do have this on a digitally remastered CD. But this one is on the Atco label. Yes, I do collect variations. Van Halen. OUH12. It's the eighth studio album, released in 1988, and is the band's second album to feature vocalist Sammy Hagar. I do like Sammy's solo material as well. I was shocked to find this. I've never seen this before. I picked it up. David Lee Roth, Skyscraper. His second full-length album. It was released in 1988 on Warner Brothers Music. I really only wanted it for three songs. Three of my favourites. It would be Knuckle Bones, Just Like Paradise and Stand Up. And two of those were singles from the album. White Snake, Gratis Hits from 1994. White Snake's most well known songs from the 1980s from the Geffen years are mainly on here. I've already listened to this one Coverdale Page. It's a collaborative studio album by English singer Dave Coverdale, previously in Whitesnake, and guitarist Jimmy Page. It was released in 1993. The first half of the album is definitely better than the second half. Joe Satriani, Not On This Earth, his debut studio album from 1986. This here is the alternate cover. European edition released in 1988 on CBS Records. Or what I call the Barbara Streisand label. I also found Joe Satriani, Time Machine, his fifth studio album, released in 1993. It is a double disc album. The first disc contains a selection of new tracks outtakes and unreleased studio recordings, while the second disc is composed of live recordings from 1988 to 1992. There's the back.
I have a vinyl record to show you. Night Ranger, Midnight Madness, released in October 1983. The album produced three charting singles and contains the best, the band's best known hit, Sister Christian. It remains their highest selling album at over a million copies sold in the US. It does have some sticker residue over here. In a sleeve. Lyrics. My favourite song of this album is When You Close Your Eyes. And it's on MCA Records. Let's squeeze in a DVD. Motley Crue. Greatest video hits from 2005. I also found Hawkwind on a two CD set, made in England, released in 1997. Hawkwind, Hall of the Mountain Grill, released in 1996. All I know is that it's a compilation as well. So these two Hawkwind CDs that I'm just showing you, no information on Wikipedia. So I'll have to listen to these and do some research. I have shown this before, but this is The Angels Lifeline. This version is the 20th anniversary deluxe edition with a 64 page booklet. It's in rough condition. And guess what? Yes, the CDs are in there, but the booklet's missing. In excess, Kick, 25th anniversary edition. This edition has the original album on disc one and demos and remixes on disc two. Released in Australia in 2012. This is by far my favourite NXS album. The UK European version comes with a third CD plus a fourth DVD with a poster and a sticker sheet. In excess, Never Tear Us Apart on a two DVD set. This is pretty much their story from the beginning. I also spotted this CD. This is Heart, Bad Animals, their ninth studio album, released in 1987 by Capitol Records. The album continues the mainstream hard rock style from the band's 85 self-titled release and enjoyed similar success. Gun, Taking on the World. This is their debut album released in 1989. I do have their 1994 album Swagger, which charted much better than this one. Tin Machine, this is their debut studio album, released in 1989. The band consisted of English singer-songwriter David Bowie. The project was spearheaded by Bowie, who felt disconnected in his career by 1987 and looked to reinvent himself. So I haven't heard this one yet. Keen to hear it and form an opinion myself. Nebworth, released in 1990. This is a two-CD live compilation. So there's the booklet. We have artists performing such as Tears for Fears, Status Quo, Robert Plant, Genesis, Cliff Richard, 
Eric Clapton, Dire Straits, Elton John, Paul McCartney, and Pink Floyd. On DVD, we have Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, live from Austin, Texas. The Infinite Steve Vay Anthology, two CD sets released in 2003, spanning his entire solo career. I also found Marillion, Misplaced Childhood, third studio album by the band, released in 1985. It is a concept album loosely based on the childhood of Marillion's lead singer, Fish. And this is a re-release from the year 2000. Daughtry, It's Not Over, The Hit So Far. This is his first greatest hits album and features most of the mainstream singles released from the band's first four studio albums. This one I picked up a few weeks ago. I'm shoehorning it into this video. Disturbed, The Lost Children from 2011. This is a compilation album of B-sides spanning 11 years with the exception of the song Glass Shutters. Clutch, Strange Cousins from the West. Released in 2009, this band is from Maryland, USA. I'll just show you the packaging for this one. And here's the packaging. Can you believe that? Two more to show, Slash. His debut solo studio album released in 2010. Two disc set, CD, DVD, and it features all these musicians and singers. Also from Slash, World on Fire featuring Miles Candy and the Conspirators released in 2014. That wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And thank you for watching.